Coming up on today's video, we're going to be discussing some offensive coordinator candidates that I think Mickey Loomis should make a call to and at least interview because let's keep it real. I don't think that there's a world where the Saints make the playoffs and the, and the front office is like, you know what, we're done with Dennis Allen. We're blowing the whole operation up. I could see them, though, being like, Dennis Allen, you're fine defensively, but let's bring you a quality play caller offensively in. I could see that being the case, quite honestly, and I think that that's a little bit more likely than D.A. getting fired. But I'm going to keep vouching for D.A. to get fired, but I need you to get loud for me. We're not talking Dennis Allen today. We're talking Pete the Clown. So if you want Carmichael to be out of here, if you want him canned, I need you to get in the comment section and do your best celebrity and apprentice uh, impersonation and give me a, you fired. All right, so here's my take on all of this just to kind of set the scene here. Pete Carmichael, he just sucks. He's boring. His offense is dull. It's very predictable. There's no creativity. And we showed a picture on the show recently. If you missed it, check out yesterday's video or my Twitter. He is literally the worst offensive coordinator. But statistically, he is the worst offensive coordinator. It could literally not get any worse than it already is. So to all those people saying, well, why would you want to fire Pete right now? It literally can't get worse. Quite honestly, I think producer Coop and I could go run a better offense. Like, it's just terrible. I have no, like, I have no reservations. I have no, like, I don't feel bad. It's like, I, this has been the same song and dance we've seen for a few years now. I'm over it. I'm done with it. So, guys, I just want to give you a quick reminder to subscribe because when the New Orleans Saints inevitably fire, hopefully, Pete Carmichael, and then hire, hopefully, a new offensive coordinator. We're going to break it down. We'll probably go live. And we're going to be the one-stop shop for all of the information, my reaction, news, all sorts of updates, and how it's going to impact the team. So join the 24,000 members of our Houdat Nation squad and subscribe today. Turn on those notifications. That way you never miss a thing. All right. No more messing around. Let's talk about these offensive coordinator candidates. The first one I want to discuss is Gerard Johnson, the Texans quarterback coach. And you might be thinking, ah, oh, well, why? Like, wh wh why Gerard Johnson? Well, here's the thing about Gerard Johnson. He's very young. He, and I, quite honestly, I want somebody who's young. I don't want the old football. I don't want old coaching. Football has evolved. The Saints offense hasn't. I think Gerard Johnson could do a good job of evolving the Saints offense. He was a longtime backup quarterback in the NFL, so he has experience. He knows how to run the game. He knows what to look for. He knows the game through and through. And I do find this interesting that, um, have you seen how good CJ Stroud's been playing? I mean, he is, quite honestly, like, I don't want to overdo it right now or anything, and I don't want to get you excited about this guy, but CJ Stroud's playing damn near at an MVP level. Like, he is playing lights out. So shout out to the Houston Texans for getting CJ Stroud. Shout out to the Carolina Panthers for not taking CJ Stroud. Shout out to possible future offensive coordinator, Gerard Johnson. So let's also get into Kevin Petulo, the Eagles passing game coordinator. And if you guys know anything about the Eagles, it's that their offense is pretty damn good. I mean, they're back-to-back 9-1 -back seasons. That doesn't happen on accident. That's not a mistake. That's not a fluke, if you will. I understand that a lot of y'all don't necessarily like the Eagles. You think that they're not as good as they, as they are. Like, there's definitely some of that out there. But I'll tell you this. Kevin Petulo is a damn good coach. He's done a phenomenal job with Jalen Hurts. The development that he's had every single year, you can look at the numbers, and it's so much better. This year, a little bit kind of down, but he's still playing really well. And he did start coaching in 2003 at South Florida at the college level. That's where he played, and he specializes in quarterbacks and wide receivers. And quite honestly, this Saints team needs better quarterback production, needs better wide receiver production, and I love the wide receivers. I just want to see more. And I think if you can sit here and just be honest with yourself and say, man, I'm happy, but I could be ecstatic. And I think that that's what we should be going for. So let's talk about Ken Dorsey next, because I mentioned him as a replacement for Dennis Allen as a head coach. But if the Saints wanted to keep Dennis Allen, like I honestly could see Ken Dorsey being an offensive coordinator that the Saints are interested in. And as you all know, he was recently fired by the Buffalo Bills. And Bills players and coaches, they were very upset. They were heartbroken. Josh Allen even spoke out and was like, this is going to change the locker room. He's done so much for me. He was detrimental to my, or he was like an integral part to my instrumental. Thank you. I can't talk. It's my day off and I came in to film a video. My bad, guys. Uh, he's instrumental in Josh Allen's development. And like I said, they were heartbroken by the move. Ken Dorsey, he really is a good offensive mind. He's smart. And quite honestly, if you look at the you know whole scenario, it kind of feels like he was a scapegoat. So I think Ken Dorsey actually would look pretty damn good in a uh, Florida Lee visor, if you ask me. I think that he should be rocking one of those hats. 
But guys, coming up, I got a few more candidates that I want to talk about. I believe it's five more candidates. So I want to just keep talking about it. We got some college guys. We got some NFL guys. We even have a guy who's with LSU, so stick around to see who that is. But before we get to that, can't go without saying thank you so much to uh, Game Time for sponsoring today's video. Shout out to Game Time. And guys, do you hate missing out on your favorite live events? Well, just this month, in just the last couple months, Game Time has helped me go to so many concerts, so many live events, so many games. I've gotten to go get floor seats at Zach Bryan. Club level seats at Jerry World, and I took my girl out to go see her favorite band, the Red Clay Strays. So, guys, if you want to download the Game Tab app, you should go create an account and use code Saints Chat for a twenty dollars off your first purchase. Game Time has deals uh, on tickets right up to the start of the event, and even an hour after it starts. And there's so many awesome benefits, and here's just a handful of them: it's last minute tickets, flash sales, flash deals. All sorts of stuff. Like I said, even an hour after the event starts, there's still sales going on. You can get games, concerts, more. And the best part about all of this is the user interface. It's so user-friendly. You can literally hold your phone up, move it around, and see what your view is of your seats. I love it. Game time has come in so clutch. And I hope my baby brother isn't watching this video because I got him some game time tickets for his favorite team. So I encourage you to do the same. It makes for a great gift. Go to game time. Download the app. Use code SaintsChat, S-A-I-N-T-S-C-H-A-T for $20 off. Download Game Time today. Last-minute tickets, lowest price, guaranteed. All right, let's get to a few more uh, offensive coordinator candidates. Tanner Engstrand. He's the Lions passing game coordinator. And if you know anything about the Detroit Lions, they're a pretty damn good football team right now. They've been on a very high trend. They have been skyrocketing to the moon, if you will. He is in his fourth season with, uh, with Detroit, and he was the Lions tight end coach in 2022. And the Lions tight end room combined for 12 touchdowns, which was the most in franchise history last year. And he does have some good accolades. He has some good mentors. He worked with Jim Harbaugh both at San Diego and at Michigan. So I think that uh, Tanner Engstrand is a guy that could go and help be a offensive guru could get more usage out of that tight end room. Personally, I think the Saints have always valued their tight ends. I think that this would be an interesting option. I don't know if he's my number one, but definitely one to consider. So what say you, Saints fans? We've talked about a bunch of NFL coaches, but there's a lot of college guys out there who are very, very good at their job. So what say you? Should New Orleans go and hire an NFL coach or a college coach? Let me know just by typing NFL or college in the comment section. And if you want a college guy... I got you. Remember how I teased Jaden Daniels? What about Mike Denbrock, your offensive coordinator of your LSU Tigers? And Mike Denbrock, he has so much coaching experience, guys. He has been coaching college football since way before I was born, since a few years after my parents were married. Like, he's been around for a long time, since 1986, y'all. He was the Cincinnati offensive coordinator from 2018 to 2021. And if the New Orleans Saints... And I know a lot of you fans out there really want your boy Jaden Daniels. If you guys want JD, Mike Denbrock should be considered. Look at what he's done with Daniels this year. He's a Heisman favorite. He has been playing at an unbelievable level this year. But Mike Denbrock could go and possibly make that translate to the NFL. Could he? I don't know. I would like to see it happen possibly. So if you want a college guy, Mike Denbrock I think is a really good option. You know another really good one? Ryan Grubb, because there's this whole argument right now on Saints Twitter going on. Jaden Daniels, Michael Penix Jr., which one do you want? Well, you want Daniels, go get Denbrock. You want Penix Jr., why not Ryan Grubb? Because he has been so good with the Washington Huskies this year. He was a big part of uh, Fresno State's success with Jake Hayner at quarterback. So if you wanted to run it back with Jake Hayner, if you wanted to keep him around as a long-term backup, Grubb has familiarity with him. I think that that would be an actually pretty interesting connection there. And Washington's offense this year has been outstanding. Michael Penix has two phenomenal wide receivers that are catching the ball for him. They are moving the ball left and right. They are an absolute dominating force offensively. And if the New Orleans Saints wanted to go get Michael Penix, just like Jane Daniels with Mike Denbrock, if you wanted Penix over Daniels, Ryan Grubb is your guy. But let's get back to the NFL level, and let's talk about Deuce Staley, the Panthers' assistant head coach and running back coach. 
So Deuce Staley, I think that he would be an interesting guy, and he has some pretty awesome mentors, and they're very accomplished mentors as well. He's worked under Andy Reid. He won a few Super Bowls. Chip Kelly, you ever heard of him? Dougie P, he just beat your Saints. And he's won a Super Bowl in the last few years, so. There's a few guys that know what they're doing and know how to win right now. I'm just saying, Deuce Daly, he did become a very vocal leader when he was working with Dan Campbell in the Detroit Lions last year. That is something that I want to see. I want somebody who's going to be vocal, who's going to be active, who's going to take accountability, who's going to be a leader. Not somebody who's just going to say, we'll see what happens. We'll be, I don't know yet. I don't, like, have an answer. Make a firm statement. Don't be, a, don't be soft is what I'm trying to say. So Pete Carmichael, I think, is quite frankly a moron. My one word reaction, I'm not allowed to say that on YouTube because my boss has said that I need to swear less. Um, my one word, I'm just going to say clown. I'm just going to say dumb, stupid, boring, irrelevant, dull. Yeah, there's a few. There's just a few. You can take any of those if you want, but let me know. The more creative you get, the more the the, the better. I was going to say the more better. That's not how this works. Let's just get to the last couple ones. Jake Peets, the Rams pass game specialist. So the thing about Jake Peets, he has a really good amount of experience, and he has did recently work with the Raiders as the offensive assistant and QB coach from 2017 to 2019. And have you ever heard of the guy Nick Saban? I know all you LSU fans have. Has anyone else? Nick Saban, the ring a bell? Yeah, he worked with him. You know who Nick Saban's coaching tree is doing? You know what they're doing right now? They're all winning. They're, and they're doing really well at their jobs. So, like, Nick Saban may know football. It may be worth hiring a guy who worked with Nick Saban. Because he may be know football, too. John McVay, also a very smart coach, and he speaks very highly of Pete. So, I, and when you have very like smart, well-regarded, well-respected, well-accomplished coaches speaking highly of you, I think that that just says numbers. So if you want a young guy, Jake Peets could be an option. But let's get to my last guy, the Chiefs passing game coordinator, Joe Blaymeyer. So he is a guy who I think, if you want to try and save this offense, could be very useful. The thing about it is the Chiefs offense is great, despite really bad uh, wide receivers. Outside of Travis Kelsey, their pass catching situation hasn't been good. And he's been a coach with the Chiefs since 2016. Andy Reid has been praising him for his work and how innovative and how creative it is. Those are two things that the Saints offense is not, innovative or creative. That's just something that you got to go and check out. And he would be a really good uh, combination if the Saints wanted to go draft a guy like a Jane Daniels, like a Michael Penix, or even another uh, mobile quarterback in the next couple of years. I think that he's a solid option as well. Look at what how good Patrick Mahomes has been. Sure, a lot of that is on Patrick Mahomes as the individual, but the coaching is definitely uh, a part of that. And I think that Joe Blymeyer is a very good coach. So shout him out for me, Saints fans. Who do you want to be the offensive coordinator next season? I want you to take your chance. Let me know in the comment section. And if you forgot all the names that we ran through, we're going to do a little speed run here. Jared Johnson, the Texans quarterback coach. Kevin Petulo, the Eagles passing game coordinator. Ken Dorson, recently fired by the Buffalo Bills. He is available to take over anywhere, anytime, any place. Shout out Zach Wilson, I think, for getting benched, I guess, on that. Tanner Engstrand, Lions passing game coordinator. He is also an option. And then you got Mike Denbrock, the LSU offensive coordinator. Ryan Grubb, the Washington OC and Q quarterbacks coach. Deuce Daly, he's over there. And Carolina as the assistant head coach and running back coach. Jake Peets, the pass game specialist for the Los Angeles Rams. And Joe Blameyer, the Chiefs passing game coordinator. And Saints fans, thank you so much for hanging out with us. If you haven't already, subscribe because if you made it to the end of the video, we're doing something right. As always, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Happy Thanksgiving. Probably won't get a video out tomorrow. But this is why I came in on my day off because I wanted to get you guys a little bit more content. So y'all stay golden. We'll catch you next time. Happy Thanksgiving.